Hello everyone and welcome to Autocraft Season 5, Episode 5. Today we got a lot of building to do, but first I need to catch up with Krink, who wants to show me around the new secret vault for our tough shop. So let's go. Well, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna show you something as well at the same time, so only we see it, but like the viewer, I think they might want to, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. So Krink is going to show me something, but you are not going to see it. <laughs> so the button is right back here. So right behind this chest. I see. And now the door's open. <laughs> hey, let's go. Hey, that's cool. I like it. Anyway, so here is the vault. So we're going to go into the vault and come back. Who are you talking to? So it's a secret vault inside exactly. a secret vault. Exactly. And why is, why is it about the lava? Do we have to like go in? Is there something? No, don't die. <laughs> So we got a very secret vault now to save all our precious stuff from the shop. And now we are back at our base, walking under the autumn landscape that we did on the last episode. I love this area, but we still have a few things to polish to make it look even better. I have not made up my mind yet on what I want, because right now my priority is that mountain over there. I don't like this view at all. It has a profile from this angle that doesn't look good. So we are going to at least push it back to the right which should also give us some more space to build paths and trees. But I also want to terraform it to give it a more interesting look. However, my challenge for today is to build it entirely in survival. You know that I love designing in creative before bringing things over here, but for this I'm feeling the itch of just freehanding it in survival, which is a great skill to have and one that I need to work on. So first of all, we will set up the beacon that we got on the last episode over here, so we can work on tearing down a huge part of this mountain. Alright, so here you can see me mining in super speed, and it might seem like it's just some random destroyment of the mountain, but no, there is a plan to this. I tried to roughly carve out the shape that I wanted for the mountain, because after bringing it down, we need to rebuild it. So hopefully, if we manage to sculpt a nice looking profile shape, we can save some time in the future. So I've been working a little bit and we have a... <laughs> I think I think they are trying to tell me something. Uh, it's past Monday, time for fire to receive some tough. This is also my formal request for another two stacks. I, I like this way of requesting things to be fair. Okay, do we have any tough here? I don't know how much I need to give him. Bengala, come with me. New horse, faster horse. Let's see in the... Okay. That with stuff. Boycott the stuff shop. They were mean to me. We were not. Boycott the stuff shop. Okay, let's... Uh, lesson number one of placing signs on an SMP. Yay with stuff. Love the stuff shop. Great to me. Thank you, Shio, for your kind words. So, this is Fire's house with the boat, sign for Calvin, and we need to leave him two stacks of stuff somewhere where we where he can see them. And yeah, I think we're going to do this. Two stacks of stuff delivered to our first customer. He will love this. That looks like a successful delivery to me, but now we need to continue with the terraforming. Here I want to talk a bit about the thought process for this, because the process involves a few easy steps that anyone can follow if they want to create this sort of terrain style. I first started with a frame for this small section at the bottom, then I filled in the segments focusing on creating these sort of shark spike looking cliff faces coming down, and at the same time I played a lot with these triangular shapes to get this sort of depth in between each spike. Once that was done, I went ahead and filled in the top with dirt and grass, very simple, and in some segments I created dirt spikes coming down in between the stone, which helps a lot to accentuate the shagged look. This is far from done, but I did this small segment to see if I like the style, and to be honest, I think I really like it. So we can commit to do this for the entire mountain. However, I gotta stop here for a moment, because I've been told that there's something important to check out at the staff shop. So, well, let's go take a quick look. Mm, let me see. Yeah. Yeah, this is not tough, clearly. Who did this? They replaced all the tough. I, and I don't complain, because I really like basalt. I could really use this to terraform what I'm terraforming. Someone found this. 
No, 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 no. You might consider this excessive, but this is necessary. Trust me. I have the music this here. It's called Panic Alert. Yeah. Kring did a system for this over here somewhere. Attention shoppers! Shut up, Rick. Shut you up. can now select your Shut subscription up. where you can get all your top at once. Where is it, Kring? Why did you hide this? Uh, no, I don't want that. Okay. This is the one stuff advertisement. We will save this for later. Now we need this one. Hi, Kring. Hi, come here. Have you have you have you checked the stuff shop? I haven't. What's going on? Well, we have some lovely signs. Yes, I actually saw these. Like, like Gio is a great customer. Okay, take a look at this chest. Oh my god. Everything. And what even... is this? A lot of stuff. Uh, basalt. It's a lot of basalt. They, they are playing with my brain. That's not even d diamond ingot. Yeah. Who did this to us? I don't know who did this, but they were able to break in our super secret vault. So, uh, I'm, I'm guessing because you pulled me here that, that you have something in retaliation? I have something in retaliation. I mean something so that everybody knows. If you want, step on the floor there when the... Attention shoppers! There's a tough criminal loose in the autocraft server. I repeat, a tough criminal is loose on the server. Panic if you must. Protect your tough. This is a message to everyone. Find and retrieve the lost tough, and you will be rewarded with 20 diamond ore. Turn in the thief, and you will be rewarded with twice the amount. Thank you for your attention. This message was brought to you by the staff service shop. I think, I think, yeah, I think that's a good price for the head of the thief of whoever did that. Ten seconds later. I didn't make I any have something for you. Hi, Gio. Oh, hi, Gio. Are you ready oh. for this huh? gift? Ooh. Hey, that's a good uh, gift. Was... Wait. Wait. Wait, what? Huh? It was me. I'm the thief. Really? What are we, what are we supposed to do? So are you are you are you turning yourself in? I believe I'll take that reward now. Well, that, but you that, also turned yourself in. That that was a good yeah, advertisement. So I get drink. doubled. The advertisement work. Yeah, take the take the cuff, take the cuff. I'm I'm happy because the advertisement worked out, but I'm also <laughs> sad. I was stealing your horse. Mr. Geo of the Bag, you will have 20 diamond ore. You can be happy with the 20 and go off and forget about the tough shop now that you have also unsubscribed right after yeah. stealing from us. No. I mean, I'm forgiving you because you left some nice words for us there. But. That's not, that wasn't me. Silence. Mm. Sure. Silence. And you seem to want diamonds. You want shinies, huh? You want the, the rest of the price? I mean, if you're willing to give it, sure, but I'll take 20, whatever. But you can take 40. You just need to do something else for us. What's that? You left our service. And we kind of need a soul in exchange. But not your soul. We want Onki. Bring us Onki. Make him subscribe. Mm. And the 20 diamond ore will be yours. So, my soul is equal exchange for another, is what you're saying. To be fair, I have not yet... Your name is still there, so... That's not the real one. The real one is in my possession. Quickly, find it! Find it, Green! Find it! Find it! Where's the name of sheep? Are no, sure? that's August. Hey, Gio, which one did you, would... you sign up for? <laughs> you don't think I wouldn't rob my own name out of your service? Okay, hey Geo, could you do me the, the <laughs> Geo? Could you do me the biggest favor real quick? Actually, up, could you um, could you take this paper right here and put your name on it? Nope. In this, uh, the worst the anvil. But I'll tell you what. Someone broke the anvil. What's going on? The tough I shop will. is crumbling uh, stuff down. Stuff is falling in the shambles. Yeah. <laughs> I will. Hey, if I can't get Anki, you don't give me any diamonds and we walk away. Fair. Am I too soft, Crink? I think I'm too soft. A little bit. Okay. But that's why we love you. You're so uh, handsome and soft. We need, we need to work on that. <laughs> Get out of here. Bye, <laughs> Thank Gio. you, bye. Thank you for stealing from us and then giving it back and then give, making us pay for you. Okay, that went well. After all that stuff shenanigans, we need to come back to work on our mountain. And I have actually done some progress off camera that I forgot to time lapse because it was during a stream. So, yeah. But let me show you around because we have new ideas.
The first thing is that I want to keep this entrance to the cave. I might make it smaller though and bring the cliff even further out. Then we have a path here as you can see, or the beginnings of a path, that goes into the mountain all the way up, so this is a really nice way to get to the top. Coming back to the time lapse, we started working on the main and larger cliff from this whole terraforming project, the one that will frame the entrance to the cave. And the process was exactly the same as we did before, but on a slightly bigger scale for the spikes. The focus was mainly on the side profile, so we can get a nice view when we look at it from the autumn landscape build. And on the top we decided to intercalate spikes of dirt, moss and stone, which I think add that extra touch of style to the mountain, very characteristic of the terraforming done by Good Times with Scar. Yes, this was inspired by his builds. So here we are at the shopping district, there are a few new shops popping up, but take a look behind me. Look at what they've done to my stuff shop. No. And you, you let this happen. Don't you dare shoot me. I love those eyes. That is amazing. How did they do that? Oh, those are la I love this. I'm gonna steal that idea. But no, I can't like this. I don't like this. Bad. Bad thing. And I know who's behind this. It's Shio Bag. And I know that because he told me. So if he thinks that he can get away with vandalizing my stuff shop without me doing anything about it, he is well done right. Because I have a mountain to finish, so I can't do anything about it. Alright everyone, let me show you at the state that we have the cliff. And hear me out, it is on a bit of an ugly state. I am not fully fully happy with it right now, but... <laughs> I mean, it's not terrible. We have like one, two, three, four cliffs. There are a few things that I do like. Let me show it from up close. Things that I like are the texturing. I think the texturing makes it feel way more dramatic and I like that. I think I can even bring those dark colors a bit further apart. We also have a lot of chicken. I don't know why we have a lot of chicken. We still need to finish this side. I have not decided if I want to continue the same style or do something different. But the path goes all the way up to here, where we have now the cave entrance, very dark and loomy, I really like that. Going up, as we saw before, and then we have this other side, which now is a bit of a problem. As you can see by the way that I'm coming down, this side is not... ouch, I'm sorry. This side is still not done, let me sleep. Yes, this side is still not done. And what I'm thinking here, I discussed this with Krink, is I want to kinda ease in the cliff into the mountain, maybe take down those trees, and have a path coming all the way down, going into the river, where we can make another bridge, like that one, to connect all over. Because over here, Krink has this path that is almost aligned, so it wouldn't take too much effort to bring this path over here, connect it to the bridge, and take it all the way to there. And I think that would be a nice thing to do to bring everything together and have a nice cohesive area that you can walk through or have a horse walk, or whatever you want to, to use to explore this. And one of the reasons why it's been taking so long is because I've been not using Elytras all this time. But I think for the sake of my sanity, I am going to leave my horses for now you both have certainly well not you and we are going to be using our elytras because we actually got elytras very early on we went end raiding with lacy Kring, and rosie and lacy gave me elytras in exchange so yeah we got them right here calvin's wings plus a bunch of other cool gifts that i have not used Thanks again for the trees. Oh, I designed some trees from Shio. Oh, let's go. I got a beacon and diamonds. I like that. I can use that. We now have elytras, which means that it's time to take a better look at our base from the top. Look at this. I love it. Oh, yes. This is good. And we can move more freely through this mountain. There are chicken here as well. I'm not gonna murder you yet. We are going to be finishing this, covering the awkward spots, polishing every little thing 
that I am not happy with with this mounting, which means it's time for a last time lapse. Let's go. As you can see, the mounting is fully, fully complete. Uh, I might add a few changes here and there, but this is so far what I wanted. Let's actually take a flight because the best angle is somewhere around here. I'm always trying to focus on the views that the other people on the server are going to have, specifically Krink, who is the closest. So you can see that from this side of the river, the trees are looking nice. The mounting is looking nice. Oh, we have Krink in game. We also have some fallen trees over here. It's not my best shot at a fallen tree, but it, I think it delivers the idea and that's what matters. We have some smaller bushes over there and I might keep adding details here and there. And what is this? What? What is this? Is this? This glow lichen? Have I, have I just spawn proofed my base with more things than torches? Well, yes, I have. Yes, I have. I never, I never spawn proof, but I did it this time and it's looking great. Glow like in there, glow like in there. It's not spawn proof inside. Don't, don't ignore those sounds. And also we have the path coming down the mountain. It's looking very nice. This one turned out so good. Look at that. So it's coming down and we are not continuing this here. I know I said we were, go we were going to make a bridge, but I actually talked to Krink. And he wants, instead of connecting this path, he wants to make one over here. So I'll wait for him to bring the path over. He wants to do some terraforming here, I think. And then we'll make a bridge or we'll let him make a bridge and then connect our path. And we have a much better view from the autumn landscape, which was our initial goal to be able to look at that. Look at that. That is so much better. You have the path going up. The, I wish we could see the path that goes into the mountain because I really like that view. I wish we could see that from here, but that's all right. And we have the cave, the cave with a very, very loomy entrance. I love this. And in fact, talking about the cave, I have a secret. I have a secret and I want to tell Krink about it. So... Yeah, I think it's time. Kring, 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 kring. Where is Kring? Is Kring on the base? Hey, have you seen Kring? No. Is he on the new storage room? What do you think we do? Hi. Hello. How are you? How's it going? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I show you something for a second? Hey, you have some friends over here. Yeah, those are my friends that we don't, those are like the type of the friends that you don't talk about. Yeah, I know. Yeah. My minds want me to play League of Legends. <sighs> yeah. I'm done with my terraforming. After three years, I'm fully, fully complete. I know I don't have to look at like an empty shell anymore. It's awesome. Yes, and it's even spawn proof. Is it? Yeah. Oh it is. It is. I, I'm spawn proofing oh, my no, base. No, Calvin, no. Ignore no, it's not. Crink, crink, no. Calvin, Calvin no. it's not. It's, you can't say it's spawn proof. It's, it's not spawn proof. proof. It's 90% spawn proof. Also, don't look on the top because it's also not spawn proof. But this is a spawn proof. <sighs> and if we this cut. This is just called the... false advertisement. Listen, if I cut all the clips where we can tell that it's not spawn proof, then it's a spawn proof. But what if I leave it in? I'm not, not if I leave them in first. 
you can see here the cave entrance, very beautiful. Yes. And there's something inside. There's something in there? Yeah, that I've been keeping secret for a long time. Wait, can I, can is it something I... that you built? No, no. Fly into the cave. So it's somewhere around here. I need to remember the way. You know, this is the way out. Down here. Uh, yeah, this, this is the cave where we talked about the tough. Oh, oh, like the original plans. Follow the Calvin. Follow, Follow the Calvin. Calvin. Follow the Calvin. Calvin. No, it's around. Yeah, I see it. That's the thing. Calvin, that's a little creepy. Yeah, I know. It's kind of um, hard to tell what it is. And there are a lot of zombies. What do you mean it's hard to tell? It's a face. That is 100% a face. It is a face. And it has creepers. And there's zombies and creepers everywhere. So yeah, I, I found this early on while we were exploring. And um, yeah, I didn't tell anyone. But it's been... It's been telling me uh, things, huh. and I've been doing what it's been telling me. It, Wait. it, it told me to scam what? people. What? That's why Calvin. we made a tough shop. Yeah. So th this entire time when you say that we didn't make the rules, this thing made the rules? I guess. I mean, I, I made the rules, but this just tells me like straight tasks. The tasks have been getting like creepier and yeah, I think it's time that someone else knows about it. So you roping me into this? Yeah, why not? Oh, okay. What does the door do? So I tried a few things. Like this pedestal was here. I made this very beautiful staircase, as you can see. And I tried a few things. And for some reason, the copper door is the one that works. So if you open it, there will be times when it drops. Okay. Oh. Yeah. That's oh. a task. Is this for me to do? Now that I, because I did it? I have no idea. Pick it up. Um. What? Uh. What I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Let, let I mean, see. I can do it. Let me see. Um. Oh. Um. You're, I mean, you're telling I... me that this thing wants you to kill me, basically. I mean, I can do it. Whoa, 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 No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. We, we, we don't have, we don't, I don't have to do everything that it says, right? I, I hope so. I, I kind of would prefer that you didn't kill me. Yeah, what can go wrong? Yeah, I, we, we don't have, we don't, I don't have to do what it says. Okay, thank you, Krink. Bye, Krink. I, I don't have to do what it says. I don't have to do everything that this thing says. I don't, I don't have to, right?